What's up miners, welcome to another video. In this video I'm going to show you how to mine VChain using the Ominable app and also some other miner programs for the CPU and GPU that will deliver better performance. If you are not familiar with VChain, I will leave a link in the description so you can check it out. To give you an idea, if we go to coingecko.com, we can see the coin is ranking as a number 32 with a price of 0.09. The first thing you need to do is to get a wallet so you can get your own address to receive funds. You can take a look at some options like uh, Atomic Wallet, Guarda, Trust Wallet, Exodus. All the links are going to be in the description. Um, after that, just open up your Windows security. And we are going to place an exclusion on a folder. So go to virus and threat protection, scroll down, manage settings, go down until you find exclusions, add or remove exclusion, add exclusion, select folder, and create a folder under your desktop uh, named exclusions, place, place it there. This will allow you to download all the files that are necessary without them being flagged as malware, even though they are not. So next step after that is going to Unminable, um, go to download, then select the file on the left, which is the MFI version. Download that one inside the folder. Press Ctrl J in Chrome, so you can keep the dangerous file, keep anyway, show in folder. And from here, we are going to extract this file, extract here. We get the Unminable Miner app. We can right click it and run as administrator. Once the program loads, click continue. Then if you have a graphics card with at least four gigabytes of memory, select graphics card, otherwise CPU, click next. Select VChain from the drop-down box. Then enter your address. Use this code E4XD-WMZL. This will allow you to drop the pool fee from 1% to 0.75%. Click start. Then uh, allow this process a couple of minutes to ramp up, but in the meantime, check the settings, make sure the intensity is high, the worker for the name is set, you have the code, and after a while you will see your hash rate popping up in the lower left corner. At this time we have 1400, around that. Uh, I'm going to stop here, and I'm going to show you a different way of mining which delivers better performance. So this is the second way of mining, and it is using XMRig or Gminer directly. Those are the minor programs and we're going to use them directly instead of using the Ominable app. Um, we are going to demonstrate first XMRig. I did a modification to this program. Uh, one was dropping the donation fee that you have to pay to XMRig from 1% to 0% and then creating this file that will request all the details the program needs. So you don't have to configure anything, it's pre-configured. So you type the coin VET. Hey enter uh, then the address then allocation we uh, name our um, our worker wait a couple of seconds and after that hit enter and the program starts making all the connections to the mining pool and the process starts in the meantime let's do the same demonstration with gminer for gpu we have a start mining uh, file we right click it run as administrator the program starts and request all the details. So we type the coin VET, enter, then the address. We uh, enter the location. And then if your card has four gigabytes, you type ETC hash. If it has more than four gigabytes, ET hash. The name of the worker. And at this point, the program starts. I'm not going to be mining because it's just one gigabyte card that I use for recordings, and this is just a demonstration. But in your case, you will see the program starting. It will um, create the DAG. Uh, once it reaches 100%, you will see the connections to the pool, and that um, you at that point, you know you're mining. Uh, coming back to XMRig, it's the same. We have the um, connections to the pool. We can see the donation fee is uh, 0%. If you type the letter H, then you get the, the hash rate. In my case, uh, my full potential is around 1,860. In this case, I'm recording, so it, it's going to be a little less. Make sure you connect via wire instead of Wi-Fi. Make sure you close all unnecessary programs, you increase the Windows virtual memory, all of these things will give you a better hash rate. 
Uh, if you have any questions with the setup or, or optimizations, contact me via Telegram. The link is in the description. I'm happy to help you and to answer any, any question. Um, this is all there is to it. Yeah, it's very simple. Um, thank you so much for watching and I see you on the next video.